it finally happened. Again. It's, it's wow. the last last episode, final season, and we don't have a guest. And he's trying to say we should put Matt G on the Ooh. editor on. We should put Matt G on a... Oh, on Matt, the show. you do it. This makes no sense. Yeah, everyone, oh, says, it's time. everyone says you're the true go to the show. I'm not even a sneakerhead. He doesn't know anything about sneakers. But everyone's been asking for him for the whole time. Does anybody know? Does Gigi Hadid know anything about sneakers? Actually, no, we're definitely not doing him because I just got a text and Marcus Jordan's coming. Hey! Oh, oh I'm oh. sorry, bro. Oh, wow. We didn't right, need well. you all along. Well, I hope you have fun editing it. Got a little excited for a second, but... I never needed you. Wow. Okay. Let's go see Marcus. Yep. Maybe your dad came. I'm not sorry. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello, it's every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. To every viewer in the far flung corners of the globe, our faithful fans who have supported us through good and bad, through 17 grueling seasons our true source of strength. We salute you. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James, size. bitch. And we have with us here today, the scion himself, Woo! the return, yes, the most infamous, Marcus Jordan. I'm Come in the on. building. I'm in this bitch. Come the on. trophy room yeah, owner, the man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Good. I'm good. Appreciate shit. it. Thanks for having me. This is Come special, on. man. Series finale. Series finale. Last episode Season ever. Finale. Last dance, goddammit. Let's do it. The last dance. Exactly. Can you believe it? I love it. We're ready to let go. Let's do it. We're going to talk about your sneaker history, everything you've been into since we saw you last. But as is custom around here, first, we want to talk about the sneakers everybody's wearing so wealthy. Please do us the honors of telling us what you have on feet. Your last shoes ever. Yeah, we have Marcus Jordan here, obviously. Here he so, you know what? I decided to wear Jordans today. Oh, but, yeah? decided to do my own way. Okay. Chicago, these are the Joe Fresh Goods, New Balance 650. What if the story was different? Inspired by the time your dad did the first Jumpman pose ever. Exactly. He that was poster. wearing New Balance sneakers. Yeah, I love that. What would have happened if your dad had signed a New Balance? I guess we'll never know, huh? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> you know, to all the FS Army, to all the young, old, you know, women, cats, dogs, everybody that watched the show, the one thing that, you know, I wanted to say is, well, obviously, I'm fresh as hell. So <laughs> we, could, we could just leave that there. You see the shoes. But, you know, what's more important is that we really do thank you all for you know really respecting us not just when watching the show but you know wherever what part of the world we went to you showed us respect when i came and started with these gentlemen to the left and right of me we might have came in men but we definitely love gentlemen when it feels good to be walking out of this chapter knowing that there's a whole community of people that's always going to be behind us thank you guys i like that like oh shit! Okay, there's gonna yeah, be okay. some surprises. I like that. <laughs> bit, of, bit of trivia. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be some surprises because I brought some samples. You know, okay. Last this time is, I was okay. here, I had some samples. Marcus, what you got on feet? Me, I got on trophy room <laughs> sevens, man. You already Let's know. Go. Trophy. You know, I gotta represent. Amen. And uh, yeah, I'll kick them on the table since. Yeah, please. All this please. shit's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, this is your couch at home. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> had to come through repping. You already nice. know. I, I had to come through repping as well. I'm doing 1985. I Air see Jordan that. Ones. I Put see them on that. the table. You know, they're a little worse for wear. They've, uh, they've been through hell. They've been beat up. But nah. we're giving them one last spin. That gives, like them, the show. that gives them character. Look at the bottom they're of They're still holes. intact. So Just that's, barely. You got a couple pairs? You know, we got a couple things in the vault. 85s? My dad's 85s, not me. I mean, I was a baby, you know? The no size. Sky Jordans? Yeah, nah, nah. I don't have any of those, but I'm a size 15, so it's, it's tough to get them. You like them now? Fire. Might have to try to get them signed for you. You could do that for me? It's a tall ask, but I know a guy. <laughs> it's a tall ask. I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> That's what's up. Marcus, those what's are a pair of sneakers that you love, obviously. You designed them, but what's the most regrettable sneaker you've ever purchased? There was a pair of custom Jordan ones that I did. I'm not going to say any names, <laughs> um, but I did them Python skin, and once he took them apart, oh, I know who you're talking about. put them back together, they didn't fit me, you oh, know? No. And so no, no, no. I did the whole thing and couldn't even, ro the couldn't even rock the And the shoe that we took apart was the black metallic gold one high. Yeah. No shade, though, you know? I'm happy. I, I still have them. I just haven't worn them. All right, let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is Adidas getting a little spicy this past week, going back and forth with Nike on a couple levels. I love the tweet they sent out. 
directly from the main, from the main handle. They said, KD, you dusty, about to retire soon anyway. <laughs> Sneaker wars are back. Marcus, I know you've been dragged into this stuff on Twitter sometimes. You feel compelled to respond when people get spicy on there? I try not the to. truth, Marcus. I try not to. Every now and then, though, you know, when people step out of line, you got to mm. put them back in their place, remind them what's up. So not that that's what this is. You know, I, obviously, I'm Team Nike checks over stripes all yeah. day. They deleted the tweet, too. I wish they wouldn't have deleted it. I saw that and said that it was from a burner or something like that. I don't know. I feel like it was, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Did you, like, change the password to your uh, Twitter account and then just forget it to, like, get yourself off? No, you know, I still am on my Twitter account. I just, you know, it's turned into such a, like, hate. Cool. Yeah, it's just, like, so right. much hate. You know, I'm in a new chapter in my life. I'm, I'm trying to surround myself with positivity. But every now and then I go on there, I repost some trophy room shit. Do you, or, do you ever get you know, tempted, though, to respond to people and you're like, no, you, like, put something in the drafts and you're like, I'm not going to say it. Oh, I've done that a lot. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I've done the that drafts a lot. is where it's at. The drafts, yeah. The drafts got some drafts. death But notes. I respond more so to people on IG. I was at the Footwear News Award. Um, presented Jay Tips with his sneaker collaboration of the year, which was a big look for Saucony, Bronx native, and psh, just a brother of color crushing it. I would ever shout out to everything that he's doing with Saucony. But seeing the trash talk live in real time between, you know, just <laughs> a lot of companies have come on the scene. You make a couple billion dollars selling some shoes. You gonna pop your shit? It's like no. Oh, you gonna pop your shit? Jesus Christ! Talking about popping some shit. I love that. I love that. Yeah, Nike had this point. Nike Jordan. Shout out to you know Howard White. He won a huge award that night. I mean, yep, he's right. like just Legendary. a person I just rock with. He's just Legendary. so amazing. Shout out H White. I love that brands. You know, think that hey, we're gonna take Jordan down. We're gonna take <laughs> Nike down. I, that's I mean, not that. Thinking but, it is one thing. Yeah, that's Doing what I'm saying. Yeah, whole, that's what because Nike was like. Oh, yeah, we ready. Come well, on. And that's the thing that I didn't like is that, like, obviously, you know, kudos to Adidas for whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, Wait, you just said kudos to Adidas? <laughs> Clip it out. We got it. You know, it's fine. They, kudos to uh, Adidas. They got their award, but I, what I don't like is they get up there and they use the platform to try to take shots at Nike. You know, I feel like if the shoe was on the other foot and Nike won the award, like they've done so many times in the past, they don't mention Adidas, you know? Mm. And so it just, it really goes to show you who's who the big dog is, in my opinion. Was the family like group text like popping <laughs> off when that like happened? Uh, not, oh, the fa- not the family group chat, but the Portland, the PDX one was definitely popping. Beaverton was on fire? The, Be- the Beaverton, Beaverton chat was, was on, on fire. fire. <laughs> but Larry Miller held it himself, you know, graciously. I think he had a great clap back, yeah. you know? And so shout out to Uncle Larry too. Next bit of sneaker news, it is rumored that next year the military Ooh. blue Air Jordan 4s are coming out. I heard people talk online that maybe it has the SB Jordan 4 shape to it. I don't know. But are you excited about this shoe coming back? Do you got any info on it that you can share with I you? don't have any info. You know, I, if I did, it was, it'd still be G14 classified. So I can't info. really, I can't really. Blink twice if you say I no. can't say shit. But there it is. I do feel like this is a shoe that, you know, even wealthy would put on. I feel like if oh, they come like back, the shoe. No, I like everybody's the shoe. gonna grab this You're shoe. You're putting these on? Oh yeah. Definitely. You oh, heard yeah. it here first. You heard that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to see it on the ground too. Oh, yeah, Jesus. exactly. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo. Oh shit. I feel like I'm in the military right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Chicago. PTSD. Or Chicago oh right now. <laughs> Shit. Yo. But speaking of that, no, because I remember when these came out, 2006. They went on sale. I want, but I wanted, a, I wanted a pair back then. I remember seeing them on Nike Talk, and I didn't, I didn't get a chance. I don't think they went on sale. They sold out, but the quality wasn't great. Yeah. The shoe, so I'm excited to see it. In Atlanta, the shoe went on sale. Now, is it a good shoe? Yes. But you just, you, to me, this is for the lover of Jordan or a person that don't have a lot of Jordans and you finally get a chance, you jump in there with this because it's available. You think this will be 2024, sitting? this will be available. And that's good because shoes are supposed to be available. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, exactly. They're not supposed to be think, always fucking sold out. Do you right. think SB Jordan 4s were sneaker of the year? <sighs> and if it wasn't, what do you think should have been? It was definitely a moment. You know, sneaker of the year, it's, it's so subjective. I feel like everybody has their sneaker. What was Jordan of the year? Favorite isn't the number one. What was Jordan My, of the Jordan year? Jordan of the year? White cement threes? Yeah, the Don't put none in his head. The reimagined threes were fire. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. You can so. say the eights if you want to. Don't put none in his head. No, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying eight. Say I feel anything. like the reimagined threes, I definitely beat the reimagined threes like no You wore that all year. You was rocking them. Okay. take those over SB4s? Yeah, I think I 
only wore the SB4s like once or twice. But those reimagined threes, I was I was you think when you putting saw, miles on those. When you saw Meek Mill trying to lowball for the SB Jordan fours at the sneaker. Club. I mean, look, you know that's part of the game. I feel, I'm not gonna hate the player. I, I definitely <laughs> can't hate the player. I hate yeah, the game. Yeah, right. I feel that. I you feel know? that. Trophy room. Yes, you got sir. the Jordan One coming soon, man. We do. We do. You well, have it in the bag? Can, I do, actually. You can know, I see some? Can me, we see some? So first and foremost, this is our trophy room collaboration with Private Label. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Private Label, but it's essentially a sneaker carrying bag. How many shoes? It can fit four pairs. So okay. eight. You know. Are you about to world debut the Trophy Room Jordan one? I am, I am, but I, I got some other stuff I want to show y'all first. So let me... Uh, it's supposed to fit four shoes, remember? <laughs> let me figure out where I want to go with this first. Uh, so these... Jesus. Never before That's seen. That's the sample of that one? This is a sa- one Damn, of the samples. Damn, that blue? Uh, the Trophy lick. Room 7. Mm, and a lick. Mm. Sheriff in town. Go ahead, do your thing. Uh, never been worn. They're size 9. Are these dead stock? Can I lick the sole? Can I lick were, it, Brendan? Oh, I already did. He already oh. did. Fat Joe. I wanted to take a departure from the seven and try to create a new silhouette just because we felt like it was too far removed from what an actual retro is. And I feel like with Trophy Room, we always try to pay homage to the, the, to the OGs. What was it, like the early 2000s when Jordan tried to do the dress shoes? What were the... No, nah, it wasn't like that. Three? And so basically... Ooh, look at you, put a little sock at the we top. Trying, like to little, little sock trying to get cute. A little sock booty to it, bitch. you know? A little milky on bottom. Yeah, a little date sock on the booty to it, so... Why not these? Hard. Putting the booty on it made it such a departure from the seven mm-hmm. that it didn't feel like a retro anymore. I'm you hooping know? them hoes. Dark you know blue, saying? I'm hooping my whole And so the dark away. blue was supposed to be friends and family. Those yep. would have been trophy room store exclusives. Why wouldn't you just drop this as a friends and family then if it wasn't going to release? If it was up to me, I would have brought all of these. Jesus Christ. Who told you, know, you no? Know. There's some people at Beaverton that, you know, I'm not going to say that they hate, you this? What did, what, but, you know, did, they don't what, let me get away with everything. Wait, I but what did, That's did, you, did you show these to your dad? What did he think? Sometimes, you know, the feedback on the, the shoes with booties yeah is that it's hard to get in and out of and in, so it's hard to get we, in and out of the booty it, your words not mine have you, you know? ever showed him a shoe and he said hell no at first he wasn't really rocking with these i can understand that at but first. that's really progressive i'm hooping them hoes. all right so then this next one y'all ready yeah yeah let's get nobody it. has seen these okay let's get it nobody has seen these. i love Bring it the confetti out Oh. Oh, so that's a sample of the wow. sample of the trophy room ones. They Man, blue laces with on the them? metallic blue on it. With metallic blue. Yeah, so my face. The reason that we didn't do these was because this is the first sample. This is the first sample. This and is hard. hard. You Originally, do, you they wanted me to do blue. You do a red one. Ugh. If you go back and look at the at the in the archives, the away team was wearing blue, and so it would have been like I was doing a shoe for the other team. What if you get what I'm saying? Uh, did it ever, so then, uh, they got at least that's what. Did that's, it ever cross your mind to do? One like a right and left, like a. I'm blue. not a big fan of. They like, got wealthy designers. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like mismatch. You know, people wear different color fours and all that shit. Like I, I'm. You can't do. You can't do one pure money. I rather on black change. Cat. The, I rather change the laces. Are you surprised at how big the black cat fours have gotten in the past like few years? I'm, I'm definitely a little surprised for sure. I'm I feel just like. Uh, but that's the beauty of the game is that sometimes you never know. And so, what do you think of those? These are. Oh, don't show the tag. There might, <laughs> might, be might be some trade yeah, secrets. There might be some trade secrets on that tag, so you know, blur I, that out, please. It's like I go, I go both ways on it because part of me does like when you do see an OG that's just slightly flipped enough right. that it makes it its own thing. But right. I, if you had come out with these, I still think people would have <coughs> appreciated it a lot. But I do think that the first one being the Chicago colorway. Well, and that's what my dad wore in the game. Yeah. So we wanted to be authentic in telling the story. But you and brought so, more people into probably the shoe because people were just so hyped on Chicago Jordan 1s. Exactly. And, and what's in So them? hard. This bag. This one is... Is this yep, the one? It comes much, in another bag. How much do you so. think... Before we get into this, hold on. Let me build some, <laughs> let me, let me build some suspense. I, and I brought this stuff for you guys, man. You guys can figure out what y'all want to do with them. Give them away. You mean I can keep these? Do whatever. Uh, no, 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 no. The bags, bro. But you just said that... I brought the bags for y'all. Oh, fire. And so basically, we got a matching backpack, too. So you can put a basketball in there. You can put whatever you want in there. So fire. The dividers just attach. What do you think the resale value on the sample blue ones would be? I have no idea. Nobody's seen these yet. World premiere. Don't we try to get a sneak peek, dog? <laughs> That's all we do around here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they pay me for. Wow. Well, okay, then. Trophy so Room Jordan okay, 1 then. Low? Is the there Trophy Room Jordan 1 Low. There's two of them. Okay. Home and away. Take a look oh. at it. Digest Take it first. Take a look at it? I don't want to give you the story until okay. you digest it When do, it first. When do they release? Top of next year, sometime. I can't really say the date yet. So the idea is it's inspired by my dad's 
FLIR rookie card. That's mm. where we're getting these hits of yellow, blue, okay. Okay. et cetera. And then there's also an image that we're trying to tie back to the shoe where my dad's on this putting green Whoa. and uh, he's wearing his, his Bulls warm up or whatever and he's got on the black toes. And so essentially what we did was kind of a reverse black toe. Okay. Right? The home pair store exclusive. I got to so drive down to Orlando. You'll only be able to get these at Trophy Room. These have the leather tonal Trophy Room hit. We went with like a poly on the toe. So it's like a, it almost gives you like that home jersey yeah, feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From back in the day. How many pairs? I can't say. I can't say. <laughs> but it will be available at select retailers. Okay. So this on one. Sneaker. Not that one. That one. Right. This one is just us. Yeah, let me is, switch is, with you. Is there a blue laces situation with these two or not? So, no. So, basically, it's... Yellow? We got a yellow lace, a black lace, and I want to say there's a white lace for sale. What I mean, getting them from Trophy Room, is there anything like... There, There's going to be, in, you know, a, basically a gift with purchase is what we're calling it. That only the, the Trophy Room pairs will get. We got to get into the fiasco with the first Trophy Room Air Jordan. Let's do it. Release. Let's do it. Because when that thing happened, there were so many pairs floating around early on the resale market. Resellers had them, and everybody had stories about getting them backdoor directly from Trophy Room. Which from your store. Cap. So much cap. Now, nah, look. Wait, 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 wait. No, finish your story. Finish. 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 <laughs> no, go ahead. Let him yeah, no, finish. Let him finish. finish. I believe it. Let him finish. For that to be cap. Because we talked about this. We did. Back when, when it was all falling. We playing did. out. I was know? writing a story. I asked you for comment. You did. You didn't have much to say. What then, did I say I, back? What did I say back? You remember? Uh, you said, do your thing. I, I'm interested to see how it all plays out. You said that you knew what happened, but you couldn't speak on it too much. Exactly. But let's but, hear why it's cap. If it were to be cap, there would have to be some massive conspiracy against you, and everybody made up stories about getting them back door well, from trophy. Brandon, what else is everybody going to say? You know what I'm saying? Of course they're going to say they got the pairs from me, just to v validate what they had. There were pairs that got away from us. There were pairs. A lot of them. Those people are no longer with us. But again, as the owner, GM, the player, of coach of yeah. the brand, I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus in, in a logistic fiasco. So you think And then there was also replicas out there. You know, again, everybody points the finger at me as if I was orchestrating this huge scheme. You didn't backdoor them? No. I have never backdoored. Are you saying people at the store did backdoor them and they I had can't, to be, you know, look, I'm not going to go into details, but yeah. there were pairs that got away from us, pairs that got away from Nike, and there were fakes out there. So, but everybody tried to point the finger to me, you know, directly dealing with people that I've never even met, never heard of. Do you think, like, so there was a lot of talk out there of, like, a Memphis conspiracy of the pairs coming out of the distribution center? Do you believe that look, happened? you can talk to multiple retailers and store owners, and they will tell you that, you know, pairs go missing. I took on the smoke just because, you know, I at the time I thought it was funny. You know, <laughs> I wanted to see what the narrative was going to be. Yeah. Uh, and now it's kind of snowballed into this whole kind of gimmick, you know, right. that's kind of attached to me, which I think is, is it is what it is. You're the villain. I never really, yeah, I never really, you know, dispel any of the notions or attack anybody, so I think I'm an easy target. Did it hurt, personally, when all of this happened, if what you're saying is true? I mean, yeah. That's one of the reasons that I brought these samples here, because nobody's seen these yet. Our invoice was short, you know, in terms of what we were supposed to get and what we actually got. From Nike? Correct. Did you so, have any conversations with Nike afterward? Because I know there were meetings oh, internally yeah. about how to handle this. What were those conversations like? I mean, come on, that's, you know, that's that's between me and the powers that be. Okay, you know? but, I gotta ask. You know, look, we had a whole nother launch after that, the sevens, which were widely available. People came to Trophy Room, got them, people got them online. Upcoming with these one lows is gonna be, a, we're about to blow it out. There's a huge campaign that we're about to do. I think that was a blemish on the record, but we've, you know, proven our, our track record were, for sure. Were you disappointed in the sense because I remember when the shoe came out, there was a lot of talk, at least at first, that this could be the sneaker of the year, right? And I know it yeah. doesn't matter to you that, you know, at the end of the day, it's not like the crowning achievement of your career to have the sneaker of the year, but I'm yeah. sure like to be, to know you had the unanimous choice of sneaker of the year would be kind of like a notch on the record, but it kind of got dropped down a few points. I feel like I remember we were arguing about it. We we're like, hey, this is one of the best shoes of the year. A lot of people really like it, but given the whole story behind it, if we put it as number one, there's right. gonna be like some sort of- I mean, look, I feel like every shoe that I design is sneaker of the year. And so that's okay. just my biased opinion. Okay. It doesn't really affect me one way or another. I feel like 
when we go to create a trophy room, we want to make something that can stand the te withstand the test of time and become a trophy in its own right to the consumer. And so I feel like we've done a good job at that. Did you think that those sevens were going to be as hyped as the ones, or did you feel like there was going to be some sort of drop off? Uh, I feel like you know the seven obviously is not as yeah. hyped as the one, just no matter what the story is. But I feel like we definitely baked a lot of good you know, storyline into the seven. I had to jump through hurdles to get Magic to approve of us using his likeness. On you got the on the phone with Magic for that? I did actually, and I didn't go through my dad directly. I knew if I went to my dad, he'd be like, man, you don't need Magic, just do it without him. <laughs> you know? And Crop so, him out. Exactly. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. And so <laughs> I went through my channels and ultimately got a call with Magic and pitched that concept to him and he loved it. I actually cried after that conversation just because it was like a monumental moment for me. You sent him a pair? Of course. Do you think that your influence is going to run around the household? Like, do you see yourself getting wifey in the shoes? I already have. You know, uh, when Larsa started filming Housewives of Miami, I made sure that she uh, had Jordans and, and Nike stocked in that closet. What was right. the first pair of sneakers that you gave her? You know, honestly, I made a call and I, I got her the sale off-white fours. Obviously, she's got the sevens. You know, her collection keeps growing day by day. Some like unreleased heat too, or? Uh, we're not there yet. She's gonna get some though. <laughs> She's gonna get some though, for sure. I wanna talk about more your plans around the next Trophy Room releases, because just like, yeah. again, the narrative around you, whether or not it's true, and I believe it's true, but you're saying it's not true, and I respect that, but sure. it, is, is that the shoes are gonna be backdoored automatically. Okay. Do you feel compelled to release your sneakers in a more transparent way so that people don't think that in the future, so that people don't think that you're reselling them? Yeah, I mean, look, there's things that we're doing to make sure that the pairs are widely accessible. Sneakers had pairs. They actually had pairs out of my allocation, which I don't think a lot of people real realize, but... You said you got less and some of those went to sneakers? I got less, and of the less that I got, sneakers got even more sure. from that pile. I'm happy you didn't put any, like, pony hair on this, because I feel like that could have easily gone that way. No, nah, pony hair is not the vibe. I mean, we were looking for like a mixed material story, and so it's almost like a on the final sample and on the final pair, it's it's more of a carbon fiber look. You think you can convince people that it's fair? I feel like people feel like yeah, sneaker I mean, look, releases aren't fair no matter what. That's exactly, and so that's part of my gripe is that like no matter who it is, there's always going to be pairs that get away from you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. From Nike or other retailers. Anyway, sure. action, so whatever. I just wish that people would keep that same energy that they got for me <laughs> across the board for everybody. There's always been kind of, you know, the stories in the past where your dad kind of has that like Vince McMahon energy where everything in the brand he has to check off on. Is he still Thanks. that involved Hell yeah. in the company? Hell yeah. I mean, look, he's not sitting there individually designing aglets and lace tips <laughs> yeah. and shit like that, but Final ultimately throughout the process, they bring him the, the, the products and he'll give his, you know, unfiltered opinions on them and whether he likes it or not, the, the designers will know for What's sure. What's the strongest opinion you've ever seen him give on a pair of shoes? Uh, on these on these seven samples, you know, with the booty, he was not feeling it at first. And then once, uh, actually I had I had Chino from Soulfly put them on because he was at the crib that day. Then my dad kind of came around. He was like, all right, those, those are kind of dope. Do you, okay. Do you feel like history has uh, given your dad his just due in the sense that he used to get roasted so much for the big pants. You ever talk to him about shit like this? <laughs> He's comfortable. But the big pants are popular now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's funny because I feel like, you know, Mike Amiri kind of set the trend in terms of paying homage to my dad in terms yeah. of the loose baggy suit and tailoring stuff mm. coming back. He was definitely a swag style icon back in his day. It was different at the time, but now it's, you know, shit is starting to trend back that way. All I want right now is big pants. That's that's what everybody's doing. People talk about collections. Okay. You're Marcus Jordan, so your collection is different. What shoe do you wear on your wedding day? I don't know. I think I have to do something, something special for that day. Because look, I've told Larsa, I was always of the notion of I'm not getting married or whatever. Don't I wasn't really focused on kids. Trophy room was my baby. If I get married and when I get married, I'm only doing it once. Right. And so for that day, I think it'd only be right that I wear a one of one something. Have whatsoever. you thought about it though? Like kind of planned it out in your head? No, nah, you know, I haven't. You I have. Haven't. You've thought about I it. I haven't thought a about it. exclusive for the wedding? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Yeah. I, as, I, as I think about it right now, it definitely makes sense. And so I guess we'll, we'll have to see. Time will tell. I know Time there's a CAD tell. somewhere. No, nah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> up here though. It's up here. <laughs> what do the groomsmen get for the wedding? Because you have to lace them too. True. I think it depends on what silhouette I land on. I mean, obviously the one is an easy one to go with, with the suit, the Jordan 11. 11. Whatever, whatever it is, the groom's gonna be tight, for sure. 
Marcus, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week. Okay. As decided by the YouTube commenters, we make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is a ceremonious final for Trinidad James having to take off his Nike mags. <laughs> oh no! Way. Sorry, buddy. The Dornbecker program is done in Maine. Oh no! Way. Oh jeez! Oh, hey, <laughs> Speaking of ceremonious, okay. Okay. Um, every time. What <laughs> are these? What do you think? <sighs> That's not it. This is incriminating saw, photo right here. I you holding a fake Jordan. I know. I just want to need pass these over here. <laughs> Someone's gonna clip that out and put them. <laughs> but I feel like I saw something the other day with uh, Bradley Cooper's been wearing his yeah. Travis Scott one yeah. like a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want to you know throw no shade or nothing, uh, but those look a lot like the ones Bradley wait, Cooper's. Oh, these rocking. are Bradley what Coopers. You, speaking of someone who else has been wearing the Travis Scott ones a lot, you had uh, Ben Affleck. Yeah. Last year in the Travis Scotts. He had that one kind of Chicago-esque, I think it was a shoe surgeon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah What'd you yeah. think about when you when you saw that? You know, look, I'm on record saying customs are fakes. But <laughs> yeah. those looked, they looked okay. But, I, but I, we have some questions about Bradley Cooper's Jordans. The Bradley Cooper Jordans look a little, I don't know. <laughs> those ones, I don't know. Those ones, I'm not going to throw shade at Ben. <laughs> ben, you know, obviously he, he directed Air and all that stuff. He's been... I feel like Ben's game is on is on you, point. How'd you feel about the there was like the sample shoe that popped up in it that went on that uh, went yeah. around the internet where people were like, oh, this looks off, it doesn't yeah. look right. Look, I mean, they did the best job that they could with the information that they had. I'll say that. Do you remember a lot of those people growing up? Like, did you know Sonny yeah. Vaccaro? Oh yeah. Up? I mean, I didn't know really know Sonny that well, mm -hmm. but uh, so H what about White, Phil man. Knight? I've never really met Phil. What? I've what? never really met Phil. We'll go to a Ducks game. Yeah, you know, I, I I feel like when I get to Beaverton, I go laser focused to to cook some shit up, and yeah. I'm, I'm out of there. So damn, you know, no offense, Beaverton. <laughs> <laughs> or Phil. <laughs> yeah, or Phil. With the final drip flipper skip, my brother Marcus. Oh, you know, shit. drip meaning it looks good. Okay. Flip meaning it's re resell. Okay. Skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. Okay. Hot first shoe is going to be the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Toe Reverse Grinch. Um, you're a hooper, Marcus. Drip flipper skip. I mean, drip all day. Uh, you got to pay respects to Kobe. Yeah, I think Nike did a really uh, great job with this. We got to see Tony for now wear them at Complex Gone on Foot when we did the podcast with them, and they looked really bright and really awesome. So, yeah, drip. Beautiful looking shoe, but I am going to be the Grinch that stole Christmas on this one. and resell them to somebody else as a flip, so I'm Christmas despondent. The that makes yeah, perfect sense. Sneakers app that, user, that, you know That doesn't I mean? surprise me at I'll all. I'll hit some retailer up, tell them, let me hold them for retail, I really want them for the toe, yeah. and then I'm flipping them. Has he ever yeah. hit you up and asked for shoes in the past? No, I don't <laughs> no, think come so. On. I don't think he so. The only thing I asked you is yeah. request for comment. Yeah, exactly. that's true, that's true. Nah, not yet. Yeah, this is a drip. I wore these yesterday to hoop in. I've been seeing so many fake trophy room Jordan 5s. That's a thing. Yo, did yes. you see the fake one lows? The blue, the blue ones. The I've fake one lows. That one was a custom, like, right? The fake I one mean, lows are running the world. It's all fake to you. The fake yeah, one like, lows on. run the world. Like, that's crazy. That's, that's a real that shit. That was part of the reason why I wanted to bring these. It's like, you To know, make them as different as possible. And then once you see the campaign, once you understand the story that we're telling, it's uh, it'll all make sense. Yeah, whatever. And anyway, yeah, this is this is a drip. Uh, Shout out to the plug. plug. Who's the plug? I think this is my boy Zay again. He's from Memphis? We ain't they gonna talk about where he's from, all right? <laughs> Moving forward. Stussy, Air Flight 89, Nike. I love Stussy. Um, Flight 89, great shoe. I think that if these bounced my way, I'd, I'd figure out a way to wear them, so. I'd say drip. Okay. Shout out to Stussy. I mean, I'll, I'll say drip. I'll, I personally probably wouldn't. Neither of you guys sound very convinced yeah. that you like these. They come in three other colors. I think it's colors. more so the, yeah, I, I, I probably rock with one of the other colors. I'm not real big on black. Yeah, you won't see BD in these Stussies. Um, just, just doesn't move me. Doesn't make me feel that much. Yeah, I feel you on that. Skip. The That's white true. and red ones are really the, the, the gas, if you if you ask me. Um, the clothes is okay that they dropped with it. for. A young person coming up, if this is the shoe you rock and you don't have the Jordans on, and I think you can still get it off. Marcus, can you tell us anything about the upcoming Supreme Jordan collaboration? No, I can't actually. You know, I don't work for Jordan Brand. I, 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 <laughs> I love that. I'm independent but synonymous. You You're in Beaverton. Yeah, exactly. This is a skip for me. Um, moving forward in the shoes. Fair of God times Adidas, LA trainer. Be done, I'll start with you. Yeah, this is a drip on principle. I am happy. 
Jerry Lorenzo Adidas is here. I actually think the Adelette in the collection is my favorite. Oh, those are awesome. You might see me slip sliding around in those, but okay. yeah, I support it. Shout out Jerry. Uh, shout out the collaboration. He got, uh, I feel like, a lot of unwarranted hate uh, over the week online for some stuff that, I don't know, people are mad about, but I don't think it was right. And I think the shoes are cool, so I would wear them and support him, so drip. I'm gonna skip these, obviously. Right. I mean, shout out to Jerry. Jerry is always the homie. You but, can be uh, cool with people who are signed to other brands? Yeah, I mean, look, he, Jerry from Chicago, so we, the Chicago ties win over everything. I saw something where Jerry said he's trying to, you know, it could rival Jordan brand or something like that. Did y'all see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I think it's wishful thinking. <laughs> We're keeping the I, Nike I, I, Adidas beef going I, right I here on this couch. couch. Does your dad send, like, the Michael Jordan uh, The laughing <laughs> yeah, emoji mean, when he hears about that? Uh, I haven't talked to him. I'm gonna see him next week, and so I'll pick his brain on it for sure. Um, it's always shout out to Jerry. He, 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 he does this shit correct. I'm going to pass on these because it just doesn't speak to me. Marcus, we also do outfits on this segment and the first outfit we're going to do is definitely a Marcus Jordan outfit. Okay, let's see it. Ooh, okay. Talk to me here now. Me. Who dressed this? I dressed that. Number one, I'm in a Grove polo, you know, exclusive. You got to go to Grove 23, my dad's golf course Come to on. get it. What's on foot? Jordan 4 Golf. I can't remember yep. what it's called. Seersucker or some shit like that. It's like the pink yeah. rib joints. Funny enough, Quavo had the same picks on that day. It was hot. Were you like a Spider-Man shit. meme when you saw each other? I or? know, yeah. Was, uh, we did actually take a picture with, uh, with both the kicks on but it was hot as shit this day, DJ Khaled's golf tournament. Oh, nice. When I tell you, it was like 110 degrees for five and a half hours we were Spicy. out there golfing. But shout out to uh, Bum B. He had a Trail Burgers, uh, hey. what you would call a tent over there. Yeah. He was first chilling. Trill Burger, that shit was fun. B, one of the first ever guests on the show. Like these outfits right now, even before the Sketchers, that was, that was a skit. Hot I'm gonna like, show up with Brad, the jean shorts next time Brad just like for you. Have you beat your dad in golf? I have, but because he would like, when I was learning how to golf, he would give me like a stroke a hole and he would spot me like a stroke. And as I got better, I, I you know, I took some money from him. But then after that, that was it. That was it. I mean, I got to ask, drip, flip, or skip? I mean, drip. We both dripping. I mean, I hate that my baby got on the Chanel's, you know. I, I definitely had some some J's that she should have put on, but it's all good. She's, right, still, right. she's still a learner. Now, if I say drip, can I come to the wedding? Uh, possibly. <laughs> really? It's, 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 yeah. Can it's I get a plus one? I mean, skip no, doesn't plus help. one, I don't know. <laughs> plus one, I don't know. Now you push it. I'll but, wear Jordans. It's uh, a drip. All right, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you look really happy in the photo, so. I love that. That's the reason to call it drip. Thank I mean, that's I mean, that's what life's about, right? Amen. Yeah, I mean, this is a drip. I'm I'm all about uh, matching with my girlfriend. The Rolex ties it all in. Oh, oh Jesus! Hey, yeah, exactly. Oh, These crazy. are like dollar bills over here. Hold on. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I was, just about, I was just about to talk about the Rolex I got on too. It's right. Rolex. Yeah, yeah. So Rose hey. Gold Day Date, the fully bust down <laughs> factory. Factory bust like down. Shell factory shot. bust down. That. Outfit number two. <laughs> oh, oh shit. we didn't know we didn't know these were coming. We okay. don't know what these outfits were. Wow. Wow. Damn. Well, okay. This is in the archives so, for sure. Brendan Dunn, <laughs> tell me about this. What's going on in your life? So right now? this is the year 2007. Um, I have some Nike Dunk Lows on. This is yeah, a like journey edition, like yeah, with a gray, with a gray. <laughs> I feel like I those, the those candy were like out the fake. Backpack or those were like the reverse. Like I feel like he was what? selling oh. shit out of his backpack. Those were like the reverse sure. fake Iowas or whatever back in the time. He only sell hemp. This is in Madrid. <laughs> This is a school that I worked at, and so I had the yellow sneakers to match my school uniform to match where desk. I worked, to match the desk, to match the curtains. Wow. You love that picture. <laughs> a younger, wiser brain. Look at done. the cut. What do you think? Hey, I'm not mad Let at it. Let it go. Very Jack Harlow vibes. It's very Jack Harlow. In 2007. Yeah, it's very In 2007, Jack give me right some there. credit. Well. I don't want no whips and chains. Face that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give him the drip just because of the, the dunks he's got on in the in the fro. Did I match it too hard? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad at over matching. Okay. Thank you. I would I would have changed a different background for, <laughs> for the photo, but the fit is okay. Walty, your brother. It's kind of cool because it's almost like kinda cool. I can't. I can't tell if it's like almost like you're in like a prison cafeteria at, at some point with like the way that <laughs> yellow t-shirt looks. Um, but I appreciate the dedication to the color scheme. I also appreciate you. This is like the only time seeing you in ripped jeans. I was but, just about well, to say. Before you knew Joe LaPuma, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't worn them since. So, so, did you rip those yourself too? <laughs> um, I probably scraped my knees up in some French seaside beach town. I got you. Mm, Trip. I got you. How's that? Doing God knows what. Um, yeah, it's kind of a skip on the dunks because that's not a particularly memorable pair, but this is a memorable time in my life. And I'm looking at this photo and I can see myself staring back at me and commending myself for how far I've come. So. 
for that reason, I'll call it a drip. Oh, man. Yeah. Getting emotional. <laughs> Thank, you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Yeah, man, I mean, spending this time with you, me seeing a picture like this, you know, like I said at the beginning of the show, that's the main thing about this all, man, just the growth. Mm. Growth is so important. This is a drip. Outfit number three. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, ladies, and gentlemen <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what does the shirt say? It's a hundreds t-shirt that says <laughs> the strong take from the weak, but the smart take from the strong. at the bottom and at the top. All right, I got you. I got you. I'm safe. <laughs> yeah. I had just ha like semi graduated college. Hmm. Uh, wow. I got a I got a I got a two year degree and said F school and left. And my parents said, uh, All right, we're going on a family vacation. This is like, like like the last family vacation I went on with my family. Crazy enough, this was in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Got the. Zoom Flight 96 is on? That's what I was just Rare. about to say. I'm mad at the photo crop right here. I'm Rare trying to uh, yeah. Nike kick uh, I got Zoom Flight 96 is on, uh, I think Foot Locker cargo shorts, hundreds t-shirt. <laughs> this is 2008 and a Crooks and Castles top. fitted. What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> this is, nah, I don't want no one no more. That shit gonna blow up. I need my hands. Hold on now. Um, <laughs> right? Welty. <laughs> exactly, good. I'm glad it ain't just me. I mean, I give myself a drip on this. This was, God, he's gonna blow his face off. Yeah, no, right? I'm like, bro, don't shoot Why yourself. Is this not? Oh, there we go. Um, so, uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna leave that to y'all. Yeah, y'all keep popping. All right, you still have the sneakers? Uh, yeah. We need to see you in those in 2024. Maybe, yeah. This is a drip, because this is a shoe I never expect to see wealthy in. That's exactly where I'm going. It's and look at the ice grill. He's Definitely. freezing them out right here. You got Definitely a grill, you know? Yeah, this. Good luck. This right here, this is a flip. Because this is like, I mean, once again, I got to look at growth or whatever. Like the man that Walt is now compared to this hooligan right here. Hey, man, I could just imagine what the years 2005, 6, 7, and 8 oh, consisted they were, of. They were very uh, reckless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I see Dickie were... Shorts, uh, nice shoes and a Crooks and Castles hat. I'm like, yeah, get the hell out of that white boy way. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. And to quote, and to quote Marcus from our first episode, what are you flipping? Flip, what you I'm flipping? not flipping your own What are you flipping? I'm not the moment, I remember that. The moment, this era. Hey, this is a flip. Um, last but not least in outfits. Me. Wow. Yeah, it's not happening. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Okay. I'm so oh, close wow. to getting this. <laughs> Um, it's gonna break in half. You deep fried that photo. What year right. is this? Uh, hey! There you go. <laughs> this, is, um, this is right before or right after I started my musical career. So 2013. Crawfish um, Nines, I think these were called. Fire. Um, Joy Rich is that whole outfit right there. That's the same brand that I wore in the All Gore Everything video. Those Huff Socks? Huff socks would do um, the Huff Weed socks. That was streetwear sure. at the time. I actually look at that afro. Ugh. The leopard pants, the shirt from the All Go Everything video, is a part of the same collection. So I had the whole collection. I was like, uh, well, this shirt makes sense to wear for the video. Looking back at this, I mean, I don't know. This is just pretty much Trinidad James behavior. <laughs> I, I, I've been outside. Like, I put this on tomorrow. Not the socks though. I got dad socks now. You know, Jordans is Jordans, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. When I want to wear a Jordan, I'm crushing it. Anytime I wore a trophy room, soul flies. There you go. I would ever, the shoes that like really, really excite me when it comes to Jordans. I would ever, you know, I don't feel the same way about retros that other people do, but that's just because I'm an adult. I leave that a uh, story now for that teenager, for you, that young adult. Do you still get disappointed by some retros like the rest of people? Yeah, I feel like, you know, there's a lot that goes into the process from sample to actually picking up, up picking them up off the shelf. And sometimes, you know, Nike is notorious for uh, watering down some of the some of the heat. You know, you see a sample, the materials are premium, but then in order to make costs, sometimes they they put the fire, they, they put the fire out. This is just beautiful. It reminds me of Honestly, not to shed a tear, but Charlie the Cheetah, more than anything. I bless the dead, that cheetah passed away. So, this is a drip. Yeah. Uh, P, uh, Marcus, drip flipper skip. I'm gonna definitely give you the drip on this one just because of those nines, you know? You were hooping uh, at UCF in these days? Or? I know, actually, I wore some nines, actually, in, yeah, uh, in my high school yeah, days did. and college days. Yeah, you did. But, uh, yeah, I feel like this is your personal style and always be you. I this like is that. the statue right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. Exactly. 
This takes me back to being an intern at Complex at the 23rd Street office, uh, having to blog out of the fashion closet deep in the corner, not even have my own desk at the time, and writing about Trinidad James, where's new Supreme collection before everyone else, uh, doing the, Oh the, wow, yeah. Doing, doing those sort of yeah. things back in the day. Man, so. that was a great time. I wore Drip. Jordans with that outfit too. 2000 Laney Fives on 106 and Park, early with Supreme uh, racing jacket. I pretty much was done. That was my whole game. I, I, like, right, yeah, I beat the whole game, bro. We're just about done here, but before we get out of here for the day, for the season. Oh, drip on myself, too, by the, the way. Season. Absolutely. Season. Oh, the series. Jeez, for the Jesus season, Christ. the series. <laughs> Such a long name, D. G. Gastel Van Paul Jean nine three two nine. JPG <laughs> says full size run is a postmodern work of art. Thank you all for sticking to a highly original and humorous approach through these years. Mm -hmm. Never forget Jen Kazuya twenty twenty two. Excuse me, just twenty two. Shout out to Tekken though. Says thanks for all the episodes of FSR. I watched a lot of episodes while I was on deployment. Definitely kept me going when I was out to sea. We salute you. Man. Andreary Benchak 2113233, excuse me, says the entire sneaker industry needs to cut a big check for each one of you. FSR holding it down. Each of you deserves a sneaker collab, brand of choice, multiple drops, 12% royalties. Any help with that? Uh, like Mark I said, I know, a, I know a guy, but it's an uphill <laughs> battle for sure. I know a oh guy. my goodness, crazy. the memories. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, man. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Man. Thank y'all. Got some gifts for y'all. This is it. This yeah. is it. Can you believe it? It's a blessing and a curse, I guess. Unbelievable, but here we are on the final episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. Okay. I'm at Welty. <sighs> Trinidad James, baby. Marcus Jordan, you already know. Hey, I got a question for you. What's up? You ever resold sneakers? Come on, man, never. You already know. All right. This is what are we paying for? I love it. Bang. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Caught it right on time with the trigger. That was fire. That was so oh, so Jesus yes. Christ. We had to get that one last one in, huh? She won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick.